Here at Brabazon, we're delivering over 86 acres of public open space across the whole site. Brabazon Park is going to be 15 acres of that, with a whole variety of various uses for us all to enjoy. Brabazon Park will be the social heart of Brabazon connecting homes to future workspaces. It won't just be for the residents of Brabazon, but also for the wider North Bristol community. So when designing Brabazon Park, it was really important for us to be loud and proud about the heritage of the site. We created the Heritage Trail to really celebrate Brabazon's rich engineering history. The trail is a loop that runs through the park to connect the old Brabazon hangars to Hangar 16U to the north, the Aerospace Bristol Museum, and a listed pillbox that will be adjacent to our future railway station. Brabazon Park is a, is a place for, for recreation, for people, um, but equally um, for, for nature as well. It creates an important habitat linkage uh, between the, the railway corridor to the south and Hayes Wood to the north of the site. Where I'm standing here now will be in the middle of the lake. The main feature of the park is a two and a half acre lake. Visitors will be able to wander along the floating boardwalk, read a book on the seating terraces or enjoy the lakeside dining at one of the independent cafes or restaurants. The lake will collect water running off from all the hard surfaces in the development and channel that towards filter beds and these filter beds are habitat rich and then the lake is designed with a, a fluctuating uh, water level. We've got Hayes Woodland behind me um, that joins the northern section of the park and we've really drawn that for inspiration for our nature themed adventure playground. There'll be slides and also climbing structures that are integrated into the landform. It's going to be a space where residents and the wider community can really come together to relax and reconnect with nature. So down the western edge of the park we're proposing a, a large belt of trees uh, which will create shelter. Hopefully we create a legacy of trees, almost like an arboretum uh, for future generations to, to enjoy. We've really tried to design Brabazon Park so it's suitable for everybody. So families can go and have a picnic. If you're more into your sports, you can play table tennis. And of course, there's an opportunity to then go and grab a drink at one of the bars or restaurants that will front onto it. The park's going to be really well connected. It's at the centre of the, the future Brabazon Quarter and the new community. But it's also linked to the new Metrobus and a network of cycle routes around the park. And then very nearby, there'll be the new Brabazon mainline rail station connecting to the park. So the two things I'm most looking forward to about Brabazon Park is firstly taking my kids to go and play at the new Adventure Playground, which I think will be brilliant. Um, and then secondly, and more importantly, is not having the kids there and actually going out for dinner at one of the lovely lakeside restaurants that will feature at the heart of the park. I'm most excited to see the space activated during community events. It's going to be a space where we can gather for New Year's Eve, for fireworks, or you could join a park run on the weekend.